Okay, I'm going to be cooking salmon, rice and veggies, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Healthiest cook-up ever. Broccoli, carrot, just got a head of broccoli, handful of beans and chopped off the sides. Some baby carrots split in too, so it's easier to cook, so I'm going to just put them in there, so that's some boiling water um, I'll leave the broccoli at the top so the carrots can be at the bottom okay oh that's why I split them in half so you know it's easier to cook all right so the veggies are done for now How easy is that? Next step is salmon. So I drizzled some marinade and um, olive oil, salt, pepper and oregano. <clears throat> but before I put those on there to steam, I'm going to take care of the rice. So put some boiling water in there. You know what, I used to measure it, but now I don't even measure it. I just put about that much rice, basmati rice, enough to cover it with some boiling water. Then you want some taste in your rice, yeah? So, I'm just going to put my thing on this for a sec. Um, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing or not, but I'm just going to... Salt. You want it, your rice to smell nice, yeah? So, I mean, taste nice. A little bit of olive oil. Maybe so it doesn't stick. Um, a little bit of uh, the salt, a bit of quick little meats. I would say I'd cook that on medium heat. Actually, a, a bit below medium heat. Same with the veggies, a bit below medium heat because you want it to slowly cook up with the steam. Okay, and then what else I add is a bit of onion and garlic powder or vegeta, anything that will make the give the rice a bit, a bit of flavour. So stuck. Why is that onion? Stop. See what I mean? Anyway, so hopefully the garlic powder should be all right. And then go, look, that'll be enough. A bit of garlic powder and salt should be enough. And yeah, it'll just give it an extra bit of taste, not bland. I used to put vegeta in there, but I ran out, so that's why I'm using salt and garlic. All right, so this is the best part. Right, just to see how easy it is to cook a nice healthy meal so I'm going to cook kill two birds with one stone and put my thing on there salmon so I'm just gonna put a bit of, a bit of oil oh, I shouldn't do it like I've got long nails <laughs> can act as a spreader all right and my salmon's going straight on top of that So this is the most healthiest, there we go, and yummiest. Or you can use, you know, those Asian bamboo racks, but um, I don't know, they, they always break because they're made of wood, can't beat the cell. There we go. Yeah. And so you've got your rice cooking and the steam from the rice is going to cook that. I can find the lid. Put the lid. And you don't want it to cook fast. Yeah? You want it to cook slowly. So I'm going to even lower that a bit more to about there. Yeah, that's the flame you want there. And 
you know just keep an eye on the water if you need to top it up or not I just used water already boiled from the kettle um, yeah so yeah you've got the veggies are going you got yeah well, I'm telling you it's the most easiest simplest move meal and you know what you could do if this is big enough is you can add your veggies around the salmon but um yeah I don't have a bigger one so it's just like that yeah the easiest best cook up ever yeah so I just went down the street to get a lemon so that's all I could find it was on the floor but it's still good because all the other ones were green it's the inside that counts okay <sighs> lemons are very expensive okay so this is the one with the rice so I had to keep adding always try your rice and if all the water is disappearing and it's still not tasting ready just add a bit more rice with the kettle I mean water and so that's perfect now I tasted it before perfect and how to know this is ready the salmon is you know um you can tell it's ready if it, if it wasn't ready the inside would still be that salmony color but it lightens up like this when it cooks so if it's like that all the way through it's ready but if you've got the middle part that's still the dark orangey color then that means it's not ready but that's definitely ready and it's nice and soft goes in easily okay I like my veggies soft um, but not falling apart soft so this is perfect you know the needle I mean fork goes in easy you know okay so now I'm gonna show you how I scoop it up and do all that so I've got my two plates um, two plates one for me and one for my daughter so this is her f her favorite meal like it's the easiest to cook the cheapest and the healthiest so okay one for her one for me okay all right so i'm just putting some rice over here and some rice over there reminds me of um the play school put some rice over here and some rice over there yes we like lots of rice there we go so the next thing I then do is add my veggies, so I'll put the broccoli, I'll turn it around this way maybe, there we go, turn it around so you can see, alright, broccoli, I might need to do a separate plate for the salmon. I think we just need to move the rice up a bit. Okay. Now add the carrots. Oh, yeah, I should have used tongs. Yeah, I've got I've, somewhere. Doesn't matter. Okay, beans. This part is salmon. 
Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like the skin on, so I'm just going to quickly show you how I take the skin off. It, it just peels right off. See, I leave it on while it's steaming because it protects it and keeps all the juices in. And then I just take it off like that when it's time to eat. And, you know, you can give it to your cats. There we go. So just turn it over and just it just peels right off in one piece. Like that. How easy is that? All right. So now... To make it taste even more yummy, this is what I do. Hold on. Olive oil. You need olive oil. Any olive oil. You can use extra virgin. Um, you need salt. And you need, of course, a lemon. Just chop my lemon. Okay. Yeah, to make your veggies taste nice, you have to put olive oil, lemon juice, and salt, or at the very minimum, olive oil and salt if you don't have lemon. But you definitely need lemon juice on your salmon. So I just put my thumb over that so not too much comes out. And just drizzle some olive oil on both of the veggies and a little bit over the salmon as well. And then this one a little bit more. Now you're going to get your lemon juice with your fork and over the top on the salmon and the veggies. I'll do the same, especially the lemon, a little bit on the veggies and a lot on the salmon. Now I'm gonna get my salt and on top of the salmon, put a bit more salt and on top of the veggies, some more salt and a little bit on the rice for flavor and that's it you might even want to give it a little quick little toss uh, the rice especially if you put salt on the rice and that's it so I'm telling you this is the most healthiest and most delicious meal um, Mediterranean diet you've got your um, olive oil you got your lemon yeah so yeah try it and stop using that greasy fatty shit okay bye and another quick um, tip I love having uh, feta cheese with that because it's salty and salty and oh yum and also olives so yeah that's danish feta i do prefer the greek feta but it's a lot more expensive so i i get this for six bucks at coles it's yummy um yeah so try it. it's really yum